Good morning, everybody. Okay, today we are going to go through these four filters here, the colorize, the combat, the cool tones, and the crisp contrast. Now, these are actually fairly easy filters. They don't have a lot of options, um, and they're pretty straightforward as to what they do. Colorize is probably the most complicated of, of the four, and we'll start with this one. And basically what it does is it remaps black to whatever color this is and remaps white to whatever color this is. If you open up the arrows, you get your red, white, and blue sliders, but you can just grab your color picker and pick a color. Now I'm going to show you, first off, let's do this. Let's remap black to a kind of a bright blue, and let's remap white. White is already set as a red, so you can kind of see what it does. It does a, a dual tone tinting, and you can change the intensity right here, and that's as intense as it can get. Now I'm going to do a little trick that's kind of fun. I'm going to, well let's do two tricks. Let's remap black to black and remap white to completely white and then let's turn up the intensity and basically what this will do is desaturate the image. And let's try one more thing. I'm going to remap black to white and remap white to black and this will do an inverse of the image. So you can kind of see how it works. Let's remap black to bright yellow. And white is still black and we have a, an inverse with a yellow tint. Let's do the opposite. Let's put black as black and white as bright yellow. And you get a yellow tint. Okay, let's go ahead and toss that thing. And let's put in combat. Combat is kind of a colorizer type effect that makes it look like an old movie. An old combat movie, like an old war movie. Um, you have your amount, which adjusts kind of your mix. And then you have color cast. And what the color cast does is go from warm to cool. So it's kind of a temperature cast. Okay, and again, we have this protect skin slider. What that will do is it will bring out the skin tones as we mess with the color cast. And you can see it's messing with the pizza and making it moldy again because of the way the skin tones are related to the pizza tones. And then you have shadows. You can make them dark or light. Okay. Okay. Cool Tones. Cool Tones is essentially the same as Combat. Um, there's a, an extra value in here, but for the most part, it's the same as Combat. It's basically just colorizing. You have your amount, and we'll leave it up at 100%, and we're going to mess with it in a little bit. Your saturation is how much saturation. You can see the difference in color between this and this. This is bland. This is vibrant, a little more vibrant. Your value is your brightness. And then you have shadows. So your value adjusts the brightness of the light part and the shadows adjust the brightness of the dark parts. And then we have the protect skin again. So there's how I would probably use it. And again, you have moldy pizza with the protect skin option. Now you notice there's a bunch of grainies in here. That's because the protect skin on this one actually hunts for slightly different tones than the other ones. And last but not least today is crisp contrast. And this is basically one simple slider. You have it no crisp contrast or a lot of crisp contrast. Um, you can see what it does is you'll lose the detail in the darks and you'll lose the detail in the whites. It kind of crunches the blacks and burns the whites and you can see what it's doing right through here in his face. And here on the pizza, that cheese looks like lava. And now it looks like cheese. Let's see if there's any more parts with uh, dark stuff in them. I guess that would be the best one.
nah, nothing really there. All right, so that is the colorized filter, the combat filter, the cool tones filter, and the crisp contrast filter. And the next lesson will go over crop and feather, crosshatch, day into night, and dazzle. All right, thank you very much for watching.